Welcome back to Brick Station, guys. But before we move on with this video, I'd like to go over a few things, uh, news and things of note for this channel. So the first thing is, I took a long break, and so basically I'm back. Um, I wasn't able to say that in the last video I posted, but yeah, I'm back and I'm going to be trying to post uh, at least maybe like once a week, hopefully. Hopefully more. But uh, I'm going to try to stick to once a week, which means that uh, you can expect a video uh, every week. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Saturday at 12 o'clock. Um, I don't know exactly what... I think it's CST, Central Standard Time. I believe that's what it is. Anyway, so once a week and sorry this video took a little bit longer to come out with but here it is um it was only like a, a day or two which isn't too bad so um yeah so the thing is i'm going to be doing the hobbit mock series on every other week so i'll be doing like a normal mock for instance and then i'll be doing something like this so uh yeah so i've got several things planned out I'm um, super excited, can't wait to show you, uh, show off some of the mocks I've already built, can't wait to build some more mocks. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. I'm also excited about showing off this mock to you. This mock is called um, Resting with the Elves. It's the Hobbit mock uh, number three, and this is chapter three um, of the mock series. So yeah, let's get on with the video. So as always, I will read a segment of the book you guys and this is the segment of the book that kind of inspired me to make this scene from this particular chapter so here we go they stayed long in that good house 14 days at least and they found it hard to leave bilbo would gladly have stopped there forever and ever even supposing a wish would have taken him right back to his hobbit hole without trouble yet there is little to tell about their stay the master of the house was an elf friend one of those people whose fathers came into the strange stories before the beginning of history, the wars of the evil goblins and the elves and the first men in the north. In those days of our tale, there were still some people who had both elves and heroes of the north for ancestors, and Elrond, the master of the house, was their chief. He was as noble and as fair in face as an elf lord, as strong as a warrior, as wise as a wizard, as venerable as a king of dwarves, and as kind as summer. He comes into many tales, but his part in the story of Bilbo's great adventure is only a small one, though important, as you will see, if we ever get to the end of it. His house was perfect, whether you like food, or sleep, or work, or storytelling, or singing, or just sitting and thinking best, or a pleasant mixture of them all. So that's the segment of the uh, chapter three that kind of inspired. So the first thing is obviously this is them sitting down and eating at the table. So one of the things that they would do at Elrond's house was to just eat. And so we've got a nice wide variety of food. We've got baguette, carrots, um, apples, fish, hot dogs. I don't know if you had hot, hot dogs back uh, in Lord of the Rings, but you know, hey. Um, so yeah, there's all sorts of stuff on the table. Um, there's all of the dwarves. Um, well, I'm missing a couple of the dwarves because I would have I've had to make an even bigger table. Um, and it was big enough as it was. So, and right here we have Elrond, and of course uh, we have Legolas. And on the front, we have a couple elves just walking this way. And in the back corner, kind of hard to tell, we have Gandalf. And right back there, we have a waterfall. Um, that was pretty fun to make. And a fountain. So I made some rock detailing with some like bamboo, just kind of, just to make it look uh, more natural. And we've got grass all along the sides. I thought that would be uh, fitting. Some nice flowers out front, so. Unfortunately, I didn't make like the top of the pavilion, but I thought that it would be better to leave it off since it would create like a huge shadow and be you know, kind of hard to tell what was inside. So I kind of just left off the top. So leave that to your imagination. So I believe that's all it is for the mock. It's a, you know, it's a more simple mock, uh, but it turned out pretty good all, all, nonetheless. So uh, just drop a like and a comment. Tell me what you think, uh, rating one out of 10. I don't know, something like that. Um, so yeah, check me out um, on my Twitch channel. I stream 
five times a day, two hours a day, um, or maybe more. So this video is unfortunately running a little bit long, so I'll cut it off right here. But see you guys in the next one. Have a great day.